What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the match review, match reaction and match analysis of the Community Shield match between Liverpool and Manchester City at the King Power Stadium which Liverpool lifted the Community Shield thanks to a 3-1 victory in this game. But before I do crack on with this video of all my thoughts and details and what Man City can improve on going into next weekend with the start of the Premier League season. Do make sure, like always, if you are enjoying the content, we've got plenty more Manchester City content to come for you guys, then make sure you have subscribed. Social media links are in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email. Also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. 200 likes is the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. And also don't forget as well, let me know your thoughts in the comments comments below what do you think man city could improve on what went well what didn't let me know in the comments below so let's crack on then with this match review and i've just been having a look at the stats and the stats suggest this being a very close game now i was at the game hence this video's come out um well a fair few hours um later than what i would hope but uh, with going to the game and how tired i am with everything else uh, getting sorted for you guys like my match vlog if you want to go and check that out then please do feel free uh, but yeah uh, with me going to the game and everything I think these stats are suggesting something different to what I actually saw in the game City having more possession than Liverpool 58 compared with 42 uh, duels won City a lot more dominant with 64% uh, of their duels won compared with 36 for Liverpool aerial duels Man City winning nearly 92% of their aerial duels Liverpool winning just 8% of their aerial duels this is suggesting near enough complete domination from Man City Man City dominated this game yet you look to the attacking stats and that just isn't the case Liverpool had more shots than Manchester City 15 compared with 14 for Manchester City yet yeah, it's not shooting practice that Manchester City need because 14 shots 8 on target is a good that, that's decent that's really good Liverpool 15 shots 4 on target that's something they'd be looking towards uh, trying to get their shots on target and testing the keeper that wasn't the problem for Manchester City Man City's problem was putting the ball into the back of the net and playing the situation in this game which just didn't happen a lot of times last season when Man City take the lead Man City win the game and it is as simple as that you can go through all the dynamics of how complicated football can be but with how Man City play if Man City leading a game Man City 99 times out of 100 go on to win them games Man City go on to win them games because Man City as you can see from these stats that have been suggested City just dominate uh, and they're very difficult to stop once they're in their stride now Man City never really hit their stride in this game but I don't think we had a bad game. These stats are suggesting that City didn't have a bad game at all. And I could suggest that uh, putting the ball into the back of that is where the error was. Uh, putting shots on target, great. We're forcing the save from Adrian. However, it was actually putting the ball into the back of the net and being clinical. That good old being clinical, ladies and gentlemen, is back for Manchester City. Problems that we faced last season, heading into this season as well. We've spent money. We've brought in players like Julian Alvarez, and that's great that he's got himself a goal. We've spent the money and brought in Erling Haaland as well. These players have been brought in to find the back of the net for Manchester City and it's great that Alvarez has managed to find the back of the net. I think he's one of the shining points from this game. Alvarez, I was so impressed when he came on. Uh, needs to work on his, from the 20 minutes or so that I saw of him, needs to work uh, on his ball distribution, moving the ball and getting involved into the game but when he picks that ball up and the ball's at his feet uh, and he's confident and he's making runs runs he looks very very good uh, and I was very impressed with the 20-25 minute cameo that he did and what's very surprising is if you was to say to me Man City have brought in two attackers and I don't know who either of these attackers are how much we've spent and the reputations that come with them I was more impressed with Alvarez than I was with Erling Haaland in this game Haaland looked lost um, I am going to speak more about Erling Haaland towards the end of this video um, but um, yeah Alvarez a shining light here but I just thought Liverpool when they were presented with their opportunities as we know we face Liverpool what at least twice in a season every single season with how good City and Liverpool are we're probably going to be playing each other 
three, four, maybe even more times than that. These are two teams that are used to playing each other. We know what to expect from Liverpool. Liverpool know what to expect from us. Both sides went with strong lineups for this game. I thought it was a very entertaining game of football there. I thought there was a big telling difference here that Liverpool looked sharper. That's because they've done more pre-season games. Man City's detriment there. They don't do as many pre-season games. That's to keep things fresh in their legs, which will serve Man City well when we start playing every three to four days because we have got a crammed in fixture pile up right from the off going in from September onwards August not too bad but from September onwards their Man City only doing a couple of pre-season games will serve us well but for the short term not so much and in particular here in the Community Shield but we looked very good when playing against Club America and against Bayern Munich we were linking up well yeah we didn't we didn't link up too well here first 20 minutes Liverpool I thought were the better team they were awarded with that goal from Trent Alexander-Arnold it's a decent finish on the 21st minute and an assist for Mo Salah uh, as well uh, then Man City started to grow into the game and it was Man City with two or three very good opportunities missing their opportunities and I was just thinking to myself is uh, is this is this what it is is this what's going to happen is this is this uh, the uh, the writing on the wall here for City and then uh, thanks to VAR there wasn't an offside in the build up with Phil Foden who should have buried his effort in my opinion uh, which was eventually put him by Julian Alvarez into the back of the net and like I said good for him to get his goal and then Man City you play the phases there wasn't too many phase plays in the first half but in the second half you go ahead you keep pushing you keep going and you put Liverpool onto the back foot because Liverpool looked tired by this point so by the time they'd sprung back into action and gave away a cheap penalty I'm not too sure how the referee didn't give a, pen uh, a penalty on field if I'm completely honest it was a very obvious very blatant handball from Ruben Diaz you put your arm up and it's away from your body you're taking that risk and if it hits it they're going to give a penalty uh, it was a penalty in my opinion I'd be very annoyed if that was up at the other end and we didn't get a penalty uh, and Salah tucks it away under Edison for 2-1 and City through chasing the game uh, and managed to lose 3-1 94th minute Darwin Nunes put in away his opportunity uh, to grab himself his first competitive league goal and that will make him feel a lot better thought his celebration was very over the top for what it was but maybe he doesn't have a full understanding I'm not too sure with English football I think he was just more relieved more than anything him, uh, to be able to score a goal and then of course we had that Halland sitter which was missed uh, for City to try and potentially get back in it with a minute or so to play and I still can't understand how uh, Erling Halland managed to uh, manage to miss that but there we go so uh, yeah just want to very briefly just cover Erling Haaland I don't think he had his best game for Manchester City I think Haaland's strengths are always running onto the ball the balls were never played over the top they were never played through to him to give him something to run onto I think only once and it was a good save with the legs of Adrian uh, which uh, yeah saw uh, uh, him miss that opportunity and because of that I think his confidence uh, throughout the game just started just to uh, dip a little bit he looked frustrated I saw him pick the ball up and chuck it and slam it onto the floor I mean he's, he's only playing in the Community Shield his first game in England and already looking very frustrated I think he wants service to him to his feet anywhere on his body but service to him he's going to have to wait he's going to have to be patient Man City will create the opportunities he will have opportunities to put that ball into the back of the net but if he wants the goal for Manchester City he's going to need to be clinical uh, and yeah that's what I'm going to say and that's where Erling Haaland is going to have to improve on his game He'd be clinical and I'm, he's a quality striker he knows where the back of the net is and I'm backing him throughout the season to be a massive success for Manchester City I have no doubt about it he stays fit he plays 38 Premier League games for City he will score an, uh, he'll score an array of goals he'll score a lot of goals for Manchester City but it is going to take time I don't understand the fan backlash and people mocking him we've not spent over the odds for him he isn't a £200 million sign it's got to hit it off right away but he's a player that we expect goals from that uh, in my opinion can improve on his own game that's why he's joined Manchester City and Pep Guardiola to improve on his own game to become better as a team player and as an individual and it will take like every single signing that we make two seasons to adapt to that it's new it's brand new he needs time and fans need to be patient they need to give him time not just expect him to come in and score a hat-trick every single game because that's not going to happen there's going to be times when he's going to go four or five games without scoring there's going to be games where he's going to come out and score hat-tricks he's going to score four he's going to score five goals that's how many chances Man City do create so you've got to take the rough with the smooth not his greatest of competitive debuts no but he goes again for his Premier League debut next weekend 
Go and improve on that. Go and put the ball in the back of the West Ham net and silence everybody. Do a Trent Alexander-Arnold celebration. Get your finger to your lips and silence everybody that's speaking about you. I back Hurling Halland. He's a brilliant player and I'm confident he will be a sensational signing for Manchester City and he will score goals. Be patient, ladies and gentlemen. I do not understand the backlash crazy so there we go ladies and gentlemen they're my thoughts for my match review match analysis and match reaction to this uh, community shield game let me know your thoughts in the comments below leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video 200 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries subscribe to my channel as well if you're new around here plenty more Manchester City content to come and I'll see you all again later on today because I'm going to have my transfer update up for you guys so I'll see you then and by the way this game exercised to me the importance of signing a left back Cancelo looked off the paces this is where we needed a fresh brand new left back fresh full of ideas to come on I'd like to have seen Wilson Esbrand. I don't think he could have done any worse than Cancelo. I don't think Cancelo had a very good game in this one. But again, I'm backing him to have a brilliant season once more for Manchester City. So thank you everybody for watching. I've been JSGC. Peace. Ciao for now.